What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to take you through a full day of eating as a vegan bodybuilder who is doing a five to six week mini diet phase to lose a bit of fat. So I'm gonna be showing you every single meal that I eat as well as the calorie and macronutrient information for each meal. It's gonna be amazing. I have some awesome recipes that I'm really excited to try that I've never tried before. But without further ado, let us just jump into this episode. Okay, first thing is first, we're weighing ourselves and it looks like I'm 193 today, so I was 193.6 last week. So this is actually right on point. This stuff is all off because I'm wearing socks. But yeah, so it looks like we're right on point. Now we can start our day. All right, so every single morning for the last couple of months, me and Sam make this juice, which is super simple. It's just spinach, a ton of spinach, a couple of carrots, and then a couple of celery. Yes. So probably like eight of each of those. Yes. But yeah, it's pretty good, and it makes me feel fantastic. Popeye taught me real early, you gotta get your spinach in. All right, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then in here I have a protein shake. So this is a scoop of Vivo Life that just came out with a gingerbread flavor. So this is two cups of rip, Ripple milk, which is like a pea-based protein milk, and then a scoop of Vivo. So all together, the juice and the protein is 346 calories, and it has 15 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 41 grams of protein. So this is just like an easy way to start the day off. I always start pretty light with my calories, and then I ramp up after the workout. So I'll talk about this later in the video, but something I really, really want to mention because I'm super pumped about it. It just launched on Friday is the plant-based bundle. So it has over 80 eBooks in it. Two of my books are in it, both of my books. So I have a recipe book and then I have a vegan beginner's guidebook, but literally 80 books. There's covering so many different topics like recipe books, also lifestyle books, yoga, workouts, all sorts of different stuff. People like Nehemiah are in there. Simnet Nutrition is in there. Tori Washington, Badass Vegan, literally like everybody is in there. It's over, I think it was like over 15 or $1,600 worth of ebooks and it's 50 bucks. Already my two ebooks are 30 bucks. So right there, you're just getting so much value. But anyways, I just wanted to mention it real quick. I'll put the link for you to get it in the description below. You definitely want to get it. It's super worth your money. I'll talk about it later though. So now I'm going to drink this and then we'll move on. I can't wait to get this workout in. So I'm headed out right now, but just look at these pumpkins. These are still completely non-spoiled from Halloween. That's crazy. I thought these would be like rotting by now. But yeah, anyways, we just leave them right here so we can see them when we come in and out of the house. We're going to the gym. I've got my coffee here. I've got some water in the back. I'm super hyped to hit today. Today is chest. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Let's go. All right, another day down here at the gym. So stoked that I can actually work out because uh, San Diego just went into purple tier, which means that all gyms just reclosed. So luckily, I already am working out at a closed gym. So no one else is here. So that's awesome. Today is chest day. And so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes because I'm trying to gain strength, but I'm in the middle of doing a mini diet, right? So so your strength does naturally go down. So I'm gonna start with barbell bench and we'll see how it goes. So I did my warm ups and then worked my way up to 225. So two plates on the bar. Now, um, this is a weight that I've been wanting to get back to now that I'm back at the gym. But because I am dieting, it's feeling really heavy. So I think the first set I got, I think I got four reps and the second set I got three reps. They were a little spotty. I had a little bit of some pause while going through it. So my form wasn't completely perfect. I can't lie, I'm not making excuses. I'm a little dehydrated today. Um, but really I'm just feeling the fact that I have less calories in me. So then I dropped down to 185 and then I did higher rep sets. So I did a set of 10, a set of eight, and then another set of I think seven. And now I'm gonna go to some dumbbells. Feeling pretty good, got a decent pump, but definitely can feel the fact that I'm dieting.
right, so the workout is done. One thing that's really good about these workouts is that I'm slowly moving up in weight, even though, like, yeah, I told you earlier, I was like grinding out and thought I was gonna be a little stronger than I was. Um, and I'm like, you know, battling with calories and energy and stuff, but it is cool because with lifting, it is very like strategic. So if you're someone who likes numbers and strategy, it's so simple. It's like each week you just try to get another rep on that set or two more reps. And over time, that extra rep each workout ends up getting you way higher weights and way higher, um, you know, just like endurance and strength and all that stuff. And so you make progress. It's really fun. As you can hear, I'm a little bit out of breath. So I've just been doing cardio this week. So I just started introducing it. I'm doing about 10 to 15 minutes each session every single day. Uh, cycling uh, on the stationary bike, cycling in real life. Um, and I'm not quite yet there with my foot because it was broken. So I'm not quite there with like running, but that's what I would prefer to do if I had the choice. But it is nice to get cardio back in. I know a lot of you guys do cardio and you're like, you weren't doing cardio? I know, sometimes we fall off. And so I'm just trying to get that balance back. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Are you posting an Instagram story? Yeah. Hey, can you can you come hold this camera? I gotta show them this next recipe. Okay, post-workout time, I'm so freaking hungry. So we are gonna try this sesame fried tofu recipe from Badass Vegan's recipe book. So this is in the bundle and I was really pumped when I saw this because I'm always down to try new tofu stuff. So we have a super firm organic tofu block. If you can get the super firm kind, it's amazing. Super dry and super thick. So we're just gonna cut this into little squares just like so. And then he says just, oops, oh, I just got <laughs> cornstarch all over you. <laughs> My bad. He says to toss it in two tablespoons of cornstarch until it's completely coated. Try not to toss it on your girlfriend's black clothing, <laughs> but if you do, it's okay. And then we're gonna throw this in the frying pan with one tablespoon of sesame oil. Next up, okay, so next up, while that is in the frying pan and that's getting golden brown, we're gonna make the sauce and we use cornstarch in the sauce, so I'm just using the same bowl here. So it is two tablespoons of water, a quarter cup of some soy sauce, don't make fun of my vintage measuring cup, and then two teaspoons of maple syrup in there. He says a teaspoon of chili paste and a little bit more if you like it spicy, so we did a little bit of a big teaspoon there. Finally, half a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> No, it's rice vinegar. Is it rice wine vinegar? It is rice wine vinegar. Okay, half a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, and this one has garlic infused into it. Bomb. And finally, two more tablespoons, or two more teaspoons of cornstarch. And we're just gonna mix it up, and this is gonna be the sauce. Nice, look at that. Got that perfect little browning happening. Okay, so once it's browned, then we're supposed to add our sauce. So it's 796 calories, 48 grams carbs, 39 grams fat. Okay, this smells so good. I'm starving. One of the things that I think a lot of people don't know about with like YouTubers and stuff is that we always eat our food cold because we have to go take pictures and stuff, which I just Aww. did. And also just came back from the workout. So I am way too hungry, but let's judge badass vegans recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, so good, I'm so hungry, man, oh my gosh. This is amazing, <laughs> like as if it was gonna be just trash and it's in his recipe book. <laughs> no, it's really good, it's so good. A Little bit of spice in there from the chili paste. I'd probably put like three times more now that I've tried this once. And uh, the uh, maple syrup gives it a little bit of sweetness. I'd probably up that a little bit too, maybe like two times or three times it, or maybe even put like some orange juice or something like that. But seriously, this is really, really good. So Sam's got a little bit of my um, tofu, so she's got like one and a half servings. I calculated that into the macros. Mmm, okay. Right, here we go. Sam loves tofu. Mmm, that's really good. It's got a little heat. Mmm, it's a little spicy, yeah. Oh my gosh, man. That's really good. Yeah, it's super wow. fire. Wow. Okay, so time to eat this. As you can see, I also put a cup of brown rice on mine, kale and some bell pepper, um, just to add a little bit of extra Ooh. to it, but that was all calculated in the macros and stuff. So you can eat this real quick. I've got some editing to do on my own, and then we'll get to the next meal. So it's about an hour and a half later. I just finished editing my video for my other channel, just the Acne channel. If you've never seen it, it's Team Acne. Definitely go check it out. But then I laid down with Sam for like five minutes just to rest, and then we fell asleep. We took a nap. <laughs> Not expected to do that. But anyways, just woke up, ready to eat, super hungry. So this recipe is actually using a red bell pepper sauce from Simnet Nutrition's recipe book. So this is also in the bundle, which is dope. Simnet, if you don't know him already, which I don't know how you would know, he has like legendary sauces. Sauces are so good. So we're gonna use his sauce and then make a Buddha bowl out of it. So let's make the sauce first. All right, so this recipe is two red bell peppers, 30 cup water, two tablespoons tahini, two cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one medjool of date, 
one teaspoon of cumin, all inside of a food processor, and we're gonna blend it. So I roasted the red bell peppers just a little bit because I always like that. And other than that, we're just gonna put it all in there and we're gonna blend it. All right, here's what that sauce looks like. It smells so good. I don't know how Derek does it because I've tried making sauces and they're pretty good, but his have such simple ingredients and then you're like, what in the world? It smells so good. Okay, so I have one cup of cooked brown rice here. I have one cup of cooked chickpeas here. I have 130 grams of cooked lentils here, which is like three quarter cup of cooked lentils. I've got one giant portobello mushroom that I sliced up as well as half of a yellow bell pepper, sauteed that real quick, and then some raw red cabbage. And then I'm just going to put a very healthy amount of this sauce on there. We're just gonna do a couple green onions and some cilantro. Okay, so that bowl is done. Let's go taste it. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Got a freaking turtle. Molly, golly, lordy. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. All right, so I gotta get a bite that has a little bit of everything. So many people probably cringe when I use my fingers. I swear they're clean. All right, here we go. We're about to see how it is. Cheers. I don't know how he does it. The sauces are so good. Mmm. So every time I try a Simnet sauce, I always go on like a month long binge of it where I basically make like these huge mason jars of it and I have it every single dinner. And this is no exception. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. This is so good. The only thing I would change about this is I didn't salt it enough, which he told you to salt as much as you need, so I would just salt it more. But other than that, like, who knew that red bell peppers and tahini and a few other things would taste so good? This is amazing. It's really, really tasty. <laughs> yeah, cover your bite. <laughs> Censored. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Right? Oh my gosh. He wow, did it net. again. What? He did it again. What's going on in your brain that makes such good sauces, so man? So good. You're gonna eat this delightfulness. And then I have another main meal and a really good drink I wanna show you guys. I don't ever do drinks, but I don't mean alcoholic drink, but I've got a super cool drink I gotta show you guys. Let me eat this first and we'll get to that. Backyard update time. We just went on a little bit of a walk and we want to show you all the stuff in our backyard. We're stoked about this, so check it out. First off, I'm loving that right now, all the colors of the leaves and stuff are yellow. It's one of my favorite things. Got pomegranates over there. But check this out over here. Look at this. Our lemon tree has doubled, maybe more in size. It used to be like this tall and it had a bunch of lemons, but now it's like fully getting big. I mean, I think it'll get bigger than this too, but look at all this. I don't know why this one is on the ground. I think it just got too heavy. But yeah, so many lemons here. Show them, Sam. Look at our tangerine tree. Yeah, look at our tangerines. Look at I don't know how I didn't even notice this, but I just looked out today and I was like, whoa, wait, are those tangerines out? Yeah, look at that. This is, I think, my favorite fruit in the backyard. Some bird friend got into that one. Oh man, they're so good though. And then we have the first orange tree and the second orange tree. And as you can see, we're having some of the new oranges pop up. And we still have some of the really old oranges from the last season right there. We literally have so many that we can't even use them all. So come on by. Oh, you opening one? Is it right? Let's see, how is it? Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. Mm. It's not like too, too acidic. I forget what tree this one is, but it's really good. It's like plums or something. They're plums, yeah, this one's These a are plum plums? tree. And then we have an apricot tree over there. That one's apricots. This one is... Peaches. Peaches, yes. Peaches. That one's my favorite. Oh, the peaches are so good. They are good. And then on the fence, we have passion fruit, which are slowly starting to come in, but we're getting less and less each year. But still, that's my second favorite fruit. They're so good. And you can just pop them into your mouth. Suck them dry. What did he say? Hey. Oh. We are going to do something that we've gotten suggested a bunch of times. So Sammy's been using a zoodle maker, which is like a zucchini. You spiralize it and it makes little noodles for like pasta. And I've had a bunch of people, a bunch of you guys say, use it with sweet potatoes. You can make the perfect sweet potato curly fries. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do right now and also roast some vegetables. And I'm going to show you how to make a completely natural vegan Sprite, like the soda with no calories. Let's do it. All right, so here's the machine. Usually we do it with zucchini. So first time trying it with sweet potato. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty rad. They're kind of thin, um, so they're gonna get crispy like really quick. Okay, so we're doing two of these sweet potatoes. We're gonna put them on a cookie tray and cook it. All right, so here's the finished product. We have 700 grams of sweet potato turned into these perfect little curly spiral spirals. So we have two trays of it. Did a little bit of nonstick spray just to get them a little bit more crispy. No seasoning this time, just because I want to see how they are, and then eventually I'll, I'll season them. But over here we have some Brussels sprouts. 
sprouts that we are going to roast. And me and Sam's thing with Brussels sprouts is we always just douse it in balsamic vinegar. Like, I don't know why, but man, it's just the best thing ever. So all of this is gonna go in the oven at 425 degrees for probably about 25 minutes. And we'll check on it periodically, make sure we don't burn anything. But in the meantime, I wanna show you guys how to make this super dank natural Sprite. Okay, this is the simplest recipe ever, but it is so good. And it's dope because it doesn't really have that many calories. I mean, it's just the calories that comes from the lime and the lemon. So usually I use half of a lime, half of a lemon. Uh, these are the lemons from the backyard. As you can see, they're pretty rindy. So I'm just gonna use the whole thing just so I get enough juice. But literally all you're gonna do is juice those in here. Make sure you have a ton of ice. I'm basically gonna make it way better if it's super cold. And then depending on how sweet you want it, I use three stevia packets. And so that kind of makes it, it makes it pretty sweet. Kind of like more like a soda. If you're more one of those LaCroix type of people, who enjoys the taste of like uh, you know TV static just the slight hint of the back end of fruit <laughs> you can do a very little bit of stevia or none at all and that's pretty much it then you're just going to fill it with sparkling water so if you got a soda stream that's dope um, I have a soda stream but they're not refilling right now I don't know why so this is my last bit of sparkling water here little mix and we are done I know it seems too simple to be true but I've been drinking I probably had like 10 of these in the last week. They're so good and it's a good little twist on just regular sparkling water. Oh, it's so good. All right, try it out yourself. I'll see you guys in 20 minutes when the uh, everything comes out of the oven. This feels very intimate. I'm sitting here with my shirt on in the dark. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, um, I would refine this process of cooking these little curly Q sweet potato fries because some of them got burnt and then some of them are a little bit more raw. So I think 425 was too high because they're so thin. I'd probably do, I guess, 350 in the oven for a little bit longer. Um, the Brussels sprouts, of course, are perfect. Either way, I'm gonna eat them and it's gonna be amazing. Oh, and of course, I've got my lake of testosterone boosting ketchup. Wouldn't be a Brian Turner video without it. Okay, so calories and macros for the day, 28. 825 calories. We are at 384 grams of carbs, 75 grams of protein, and 161 grams of protein. So protein is down a little bit from last week because I was just off the charts with it. Didn't need to be that high. And fat's a little bit higher today, but still all within a normal range. I am probably going to have two cups of ripple milk, the pea, pea based protein milk later um, because I'm basically a baby and I like to drink milk before I go to bed, but that'll be it for the day. And yeah, I feel pretty satisfied and the weight's moving down each week. So that means we're making good progress. So that's really good. Yo, today's full day eating was super fun. I always enjoy trying other people's recipes, especially when the recipes that they put in their recipe books, because then I know that that's kind of like their favorites, right? So I'm like, all right, we'll see. Is it as good as they think? And both Simnets and Badass Vegans recipes were really good. Again, one more time, I do just want to shout out that you absolutely should go get the plant-based bundle. It is so good. We did this a long time ago, and when I did that, I got so many good reviews from it. People were super pumped that they got it, and I literally didn't get a single review from somebody saying like, I didn't like this, can I get a refund? I hate this, any of that kind of stuff. People were so pumped about it. Actually, earlier when I was talking about it, I actually said it was $1,400 value. It's $2,000 worth of eBooks, and there's more than 80 eBooks. So this time is the biggest bundle that we've ever done with the most value in it. By far, this is like the biggest um, like discount opportunity offer deal that you're going to get this year. So jump on it because it ends at the end of this month. So you literally only have like 10 days to do this. You can download all these eBooks forever and you can put them on any of your devices. Eventually, maybe one day you're gonna have a baby. You're gonna want some baby eBooks. One day you're gonna wanna do some sauces. You're gonna have sauces eBooks. You're gonna have a ton of recipe books, a ton of workout books. Everything is super, super good. It's everyone's best quality work. By far, it's gonna be a really good deal for you. It's also a great way to support your favorite influencers and creators so I definitely super appreciate it and one extra little bonus if you are interested I did just put out the acne method my huge acne program that I worked on for over a year so if you get the bundle using my link you can send me a screenshot in my DMs and I will actually give you my acne method book for free as well so you're getting literally three of my ebooks I know I'm pushing it hard but I really want you to get it because it is a huge value for you and I know you're gonna be super pumped that you did all right, and with that, my beautiful friends, that brings us to the end of this video. Next week, we're gonna do an awesome recipe video, and then the following week will be the final episode of this diet series. I'm super pumped we've been doing this. I hope you've been enjoying it as well. If you have, make sure you get a big old thumbs up. It helps the channel out a ton. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And with that, I will see you guys in the very next video. Team me up.